Do you know blood is formed inside the bones in human body and what happens when the blood flow to the bone stops? This is why AVN happens or avascular necrosis happens. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what causes AVN and who is at risk of developing AVN. Let's understand this. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pankaj Valecha and I'm a hip and knee surgeon in New Delhi, India. There are many causes of avascular necrosis, but in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the commonest causes of AVN and at number one comes steroid usage. Now steroids are required for treatment of certain diseases like rheumatoid arthritis but sometimes people take steroids to gain weight also in the gym. Yes people do that and steroids can hamper the blood flow to the bones and when that happens you develop avascular necrosis and the commonest site of avascular necrosis is the hip joint. So for any reason if you are consuming steroids then you should go and discuss with your doctor whether your steroid dosage can be reduced or regulated if it is required for treatment of a particular disease. And if you are consuming it just to gain weight, then very bad idea. Because you may look good, but you will not feel good. Number two is excessive alcohol consumption. And it typically happens when you are a youngster, you are going for parties every day, or if you are a business person, you come back home and every day you want your two drinks and you have been doing it for a while, Especially if you are consuming poor quality alcohol, then the chances of developing AVN are very high. Alcohol consumption can block the blood flow to the femoral head and can lead to a painful hip due to avascular necrosis. And the third common cause of avascular necrosis is any kind of a fracture or trauma to the hip joint. It could be fracture neck or femur or it could be a fracture acetabulum, it could be a hip dislocation. All these injuries can lead to avascular necrosis and a painful hip later on. What you should do if that has happened? The first thing is to get the right treatment for your fracture, especially the hip dislocation. If that has happened, we always try to reduce the hip dislocation as quickly as possible because dislocation can lead to damage to the blood supply of the hip joint, which comes through the capsule. Because when hip dislocates, when the ball goes out of the socket, the blood supply which is coming from the capsule gets damaged, gets ruptured, gets kinged and the flow stops. The quicker we are in bringing it back to its position, the earlier the blood supply restores and that can save your hip joint. Cause number four is radiation therapy. And what do I mean by that? People who are receiving treatment for cancer, they usually require radiotherapy or radiation therapy, which can lead to necrosis of the bone. And that necrosis sometimes happens in the hip joint, in the ball of the hip, which leads to hip arthritis. And number five is some kind of a blood disorder, which could be a sickle cell anemia. We all know what sickle is. White blood cell in the human body, in the human blood, which is usually not sickle shaped, when it becomes sickle shaped, it leads to blockage of the arteries through which the blood is flowing. And when the blockade happens, avascular necrosis develops. And it commonly happens in the hip joint, as I've told you. Or it could happen because of some inflammatory disease like SLE or Jogren syndrome. So these are other common medical conditions which can lead to avascular necrosis. And last but not the least, this is specifically for people who undergo transplant surgery, by which I mean commonly in kidney transplant patients. So when an organ has been transplanted, steroids are given in heavy doses so that the organ is accepted by the body. For some time, that particular person is immunocompromised because of multiple medications and steroids. And when that happens, kidney transplant patients, after a successful kidney transplant, can experience avascular necrosis or hip pain in the coming years. And if that is happening to you, then you should go and see your doctor. We treat a lot of kidney transplant patients who come to us with AVN. And when we do a hip replacement surgery for them, of course, after medically optimizing them, they go back to a normal life because their kidney is working well and their hips are also working well. So I hope in this video you understood top five, six causes which can lead to avascular necrosis. And you also got some idea on what you should do if you're experiencing symptoms of AVN or if you have history which can lead to avascular necrosis. But if you still haven't found the answer to your question, then drop a comment below and we'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.